Hey friends, it's Steve here from Steve's Lights as well as Magical Light Shows. It's been a while since I've done um, behind the scenes of my display. Um, this is good. I'm going to have two uh, videos for you this year in 2024. Uh, one is going to be on my matrices on my uh, on my house, and then the second video will just be new props I've added over the past couple years. So let's take a look now at our matrices. All right, so here's our new home in in uh, North Carolina. Uh, as you can see, it's a bit different from our previous two homes. Um, I have actually covered all the windows with matrix, uh, matrices as well as like a matrix panel, um, except for two small ones uh, above this window to your right. Um, they're all covered, all with uh, mesh that I got from Boscoyo. They are two inch on center. Um, the exact number of pixels per panel, I don't know offhand, but I will have it here so you can see. Um, how I created these, um, if you notice, I do not have a separate um, outline of the window. The window outline is actually built into the mesh itself. Uh, I'll show an, an overlay video of how I did that from the backside, but pretty much what we did is I took the outer perimeter of the actual mesh that it fits the window and that became my single strand uh, for the, um, the box for the actual window itself, for the outline. So that gives me my horizontals and my two verticals. And then inside that, I have two strands that's creating the actual matrix itself for the window. So in, all, in, all, in total, this window has three port connections. One for the outline of the actual uh, matrix slash window that gives me my horizontals and my verticals, as well as two port connections for the matrix itself. Um, what I love about the, the matrix on the windows, it gives this fulfillment of seeing the effects coming from inside the house. Um, I'll show you some videos of that as well. Uh, it's a pretty cool effect. It gives it uh, something different, something neat. Uh, it's, it's fun. Um, this itself is pretty easy for me to install. I have actual shutters that are on hinges and I actually rotate. So for me, how to or how I actually assembled it and uh, got it hanging is simply on the top row. I took uh, PVC pipe. I believe this is three quarter inch and uh, zip tied it to the top of the mesh and had enough overhang on both left and right so it just sits on the top hinge of the actual um, shutters this way here it sits there it's easy to install and it's pretty pretty safe uh, the one thing i did not do this year that i've done in the past um, today is a windy day so you can see it moving um, i have connected these with zip ties to the lower hinge so it helps keep them in place. Moving over to some other windows, uh, the upper, the second story, um, pretty much all made the same. The three in the middle, let's lower this a little bit. The three in the middle are pretty similar in size. They're a little bit shorter, but they all have three port connections. You have the outer perimeter of the mesh is your, um, the outline for your horizontals as well as your verticals. That's one port connection and then the inner uh, of the mesh itself to give the actual matrix panel um, have two, two port connections. Um, the top window there is small enough that I have only two, one for the perimeter and one for the mesh itself. This panel here, if you take a look, I believe at the 2022 video, um, that's our, our time we were in Florida. This is actually a two car garage matrix that I created for that house. Uh, and it fits perfectly fine for where I need it right here, covering my porch opening. Um, it fits, it's nice, uh, it fills in this space pretty well. Um, the one thing I did not do this year that I've done in the past and I will need to do in the future is just like the smaller matrices, tie those down on the bottom, or sorry, tie it down on the bottom end to the rail just to keep it from moving. Uh, it's, like you see, see today, it's a little windy. Um, so it is moving um, and therefore it could cause it, it has in the past actually push back into the porch. Um, so just tie it, tie it down with some simple, simple zip ties and it, um, it is good. Now on the back side, 
Um, this, I believe, is 12 port connections. I think it's 201 pixels per port. Uh, I typically try to stay right around 200 pixels per port. Um, these are bullet pixels. Um, you can see all my different connections, as well as coming down the right side, all the way down into my controller. And in my next video, I'll discuss the new props as well as my new controllers I'm using, as well as having updated. Um, what I've done here is I'm connecting it at the very top with a 10 foot piece of EMT, the electrical conduit. Um, and then from there, using a, a high strength zip tie to connect it from the rafters using simple J hooks. Uh, I think I have five of them and it uh, holds pretty well. Um, it is heavy. Um, so for me, in my case, I have to have um, usually one or two other folks to help me lift this in place, um, just simply because it's, it's not safe to do so by myself. Uh, and even moving it by myself is a challenge. I'll, you know, I'll lay it down, roll it up, move it like a carpet, but then it uh, sometimes can, can get in the way. It's a little cumbersome. So uh, like we always talk to our clients, whenever you're doing an install, uh, safety is your priority. Um, whether you choose to get on a ladder or you're mounting something heavy, make sure you're doing so safely. Whether you have a friend helping you or you need to rent a lift, uh, make sure safety is your priority. Been very happy with them. They, they roll up pretty easily. They store um, very nicely in, in my crawl space, which is great. Um, they're easy to, to assemble, easy to put up. Uh, a few considerations to, to keep in mind if you're going to use uh, matrix, uh, have a matrix panel on your respective window. You will have light coming in to the room on the back side. Um, so, for instance, uh, I can show overlay a video too, showing you from the inside. Um, it's not a big deal, but the two room, two windows on your left, is uh, one of my kids' room, and so at night, um, if she is asleep and the show's playing, um, there there will be bright light flashing inside that room. So what we have to do is just get. Um, she has blinds on, on her windows, but we also add um, for the season blackout curtains so it helps helps keep the lights down but overall very happy with the panels um, it's something that i think a lot of people are moving towards um, i want to make sure that it looks aesthetically appealing and pleasing to the house and i believe when covering the actual windows uh, it does that um, now whenever you're programming for these um, i don't simply just put matrix effects on all of the panels themselves. Um, sometimes if it's a, if it's words or if it's an actual picture or a video, I'll move it to just this single large scale matrix um, for clarity. Um, if it's a single effect happening like a, like a pinwheel, um, I'll either choose to have the pinwheel over the entire group of matrices um, or I'll put them in the group, but then have them as like per model default or per model preview. This way here, each panel gets the same effect, but it is proportionate to that panel. So um, just be careful when you do, you choose to go with matrix, um, matrix panels on your windows. When you pull in the um, importing of sequences that you will need to uh, take some time to make adjustments to what the um, programming looks like and choose what, what is best for you. Um, what, what is best for me may not be best for you, but it will cause you to have a little bit more time in front of the computer from a programming perspective just to make sure it's at your absolute best um, from a performance for your audience. So, um, But like I said, overall, I've been very happy with it. My audience enjoys it. Um, I think you would have a, a great time with it too. Um, let me know your thoughts. Uh, like, subscribe, um, give me some comments on it. Have you, have you done this before? Is there something that I'm doing that you would do differently? Um, as well as what do you like about it or, or is this too much for you? So um, hopefully you can check out my other video coming up. It'll be new props for 2024 that I've added as well as new controllers, um, just to give you some updates. So we'll see you later.